Okay, so interesting event happened here at the Swicker household. We have a humming electrical panel. Isn't that right, dear? So I'd like to show, can I flip the camera around? I'd like to show what we're hearing and then what we see and hopefully how we fix it. Okay, so get in there and go close to the panel and I'm gonna turn on the, I think it's this breaker by the way. By the way, look how old this panel is. It has the um, six digit Telephone number. Pass inspection, though. So anyway, I'm pretty sure it's this breaker. I'm going to go turn on the microwave, and you should hear it start to hum and rattle. I'm going to turn on the toaster oven first. Can you hear it? It's making noise? Yeah? Loud? Yes. Well, not that loud, but... Okay, that's a toaster. I'm going to turn on the microwave. You have to open it. <clears throat> Make a noise. No. Now it's not making noise? No. It was making noise earlier? Yeah. It was? No, I mean earlier when we heard it. No, when I turned on the toaster oven. I thought I heard a little bit, but... Okay. It was making noise. We're going to go turn off power to the panel from the outside. Then turn off power at the top breaker. The main service breaker at the top there. And then pull the cover off and see what's going on with this circuit. Because I promise you, if you didn't hear it, it was making all kinds of racket, and I think it's probably arcing or something uh, on the circuit. <clears throat> okay, so I have a combiner box that brings in multiple sources of power. So I had to turn those off and then turn off the main 150 here. So now it should... Um, all the circuits should be off in the house. All the lights are off in the house. Uh, it would seem that the panel is now dead. I'm going to also, just to be safe, trip the top main in this panel. So all the feed into this panel was already dead. We'll confirm that. And I'll trip the, um, the main circuit breaker. So all the circuits underneath it uh, should also be dead. So it's kind of dead in two places. I assure you, by the way, that all of this fire hazard is absolutely necessary to be in my way. So if you thought that, don't worry, it needs to be here. Okay, so let's continue. The other nice thing about this panel is that it's been painted over, so my screwdriver can barely get into the teeth of the screws, so it makes it a real treat to try to get in here. So make sure the screws are painted over before you start the project. And that way, you just have to Really be careful about what you're doing. Okay, panel is off. And let's check to be sure that both of those bars are dead. So we'll flick it to 200 volts. Yeah, we'll, just, we'll do 600 actually, because it's going to be greater than 200 combined. 
240 if it is live. I'm just gonna touch zero volts. I'm gonna go up to the lugs. Zero volts at the lugs. So there's nothing coming in here. I'll go one step further. Just confirm continuity between my two tips. If my thinking is right, uh, just to confirm that there is a complete circuit, if I tap both the bus bars, uh, that should complete the circuit and it should sound, meaning that there's connectivity between the meter. And uh, if I go up to the lugs, there shouldn't be any noise. because the circuit breaker has broken the connection between the panel and the service. So I've confirmed continuity below the breaker and no voltage present at the lugs or the bus bar. So that plus the fact that all the lights are now off, I think we're safe. So let's take a look at what was happening. I'm gonna stick you in here. Well, initial inspection seems okay, unless that's really loose. Hold on, which one is it? It's this one? No, it does look a little weird. Let's see how loose that is. It's not very loose. This looks okay too. I was expecting maybe some arcing or blacking of the contactor where it connects in with the bus, but I mean, there's some rattling around, but I think it's this loose. I don't know. Not what I was expecting. Let's something more clear, but that bar looks okay. Okay, I'm gonna see if I have another one of these and uh, put it in. All right, that looks pretty close. A shot. And of course, no video would be complete without the dog tags. We're gonna go get you a chicken nugget? Yeah? Oh, how do you like the nuggy? Oh, he wants another. A little bit. A little bit? He said in a little bit. More! Okay. Got the new breaker, doesn't rattle. Rattles, you know, every now and then you get a little something, but nothing like this, which I want, you know, if I hold the contactor here, I don't know. I mean, Murray doesn't really have a date, looks old. And given the fact that uh, made in the USA versus Chinese, what is this, Mexico? And most of this, this is an old, like I pointed out earlier, this this uh, electrical panel passed inspection, but uh, I've always kept this this old um, sticker that has a, a six-digit phone number, so you know predates area codes and, and everything else, and a digit, whatever. Whenever that dates, it's sixties, I guess. House is a sixty-four, so panels more than likely all original, other than. Um, 
probably the wiring. I don't know. I'm rambling now. Point is, probably an old breaker. So I'm going to slap this one in. Fit in there solidly. Let's do a test with my meter. So with that breaker on, I should be able to get continuity between the bus bar and the back. And I'm not sure which one. And the terminal point. Let's go back to continuity test. So if I go here to place your bets, right or left, I'm gonna go right. Ah, my tower will better. Oh, well, it would help if I close it. Hey, I was right. And then this one should be open. No. No, it couldn't be open. Could it be open? What do you think about that? I'm not sure. That confuses me. But with the circuit breaker closed, there's continuity back there. So I'm just going to open it. Um, while I insert the conductor. Okay, conductor is in, and then I'll just tighten it down. Okay, seems to grip fairly well. Uh, one interesting thing of note, That was a, that's a Siemens breaker, and it looks the same as the one above it, which is also a new breaker. That's a 15 amp, though. The ones down here are also new, uh, and these ones are new, and they look similar but slightly different with how where the off is. But I wonder if it's just a different design. This bottom one, it's all flat, flat blade. That these two look. The closest. This one actually says Siemens on it too. Anyway, just something to note. So what I'm going to do now is close that breaker. I'm going to go ahead and close the main. Now, if you remember, <clears throat> power is not flowing. I need to go outside and turn it on. Okay, I'm out here. The external main. Turn that on. That should now get power in. Okay, so go ahead and turn the microwave and the toaster on. I don't hear nothing. So yeah, go ahead and turn it off. Seems like that's it. We'll button this back up. Okay. All buttoned up. Nothing looks tripped. The panel seems all right. And now I'll go start the test. I don't hear anything. Huh. Murray NP fully magnetic circuit breakers are guaranteed for life. Huh. This old typed up note. All right, I think it worked.